Hey guys, I've got an app pick for you today. Now I've been meaning to make a video about this one for quite some time because it came pretty close to being my um, app of 2016. And the reason it didn't make it was simply because it is quite a, a simple and straightforward app despite being one that I found incredibly helpful over the year of 2016. And that, uh, and I'm sure many of you have already heard of it, is an application called Redshift. Now, Redshift is uh, an application that runs in the background and alters the color of your screen to adjust with what time of day it is. So, for example, if it's uh, more in the evening, it will dim the screen, it'll make it uh, a little bit more darker orange so that it's a little easier on your eyes. But then in the daytime, it'll have that blue light that's, you know, pretty standard when it comes to computer monitors and it will slowly shift um, sort of color balance throughout the day and throughout the night so that it's never too much of a strain on your eyes. You see, I didn't really consider or sort of recognize this to be the problem it was until I actually tried out Redshift because Chris Fisher from uh, the Linux Action Show uh, recommended it. He says he loads it onto pretty much every computer he regularly uses. It's like one of the first applications he uses. But I never hear um, Linux people talk about Redshift. Um, despite the fact that, of course, many of us are, are notorious night owls and probably part of the reason for that is simply because we're staring at blue light for as long as we are, kind of tricks our brain into thinking that that's sort of like daylight, natural light, and then sort of keeps us up um, a little bit uh, a little bit longer than it probably should. And sometimes, uh, I know it certainly um, is the case for me, if I end up having to check my phone in the middle of the night, that blue light staring right back up at me will sort of shift me into a more sort of awake zone and it'll be a little bit more difficult to get back to sleep. And there are like biological reasons for that and and, uh, and scientific reasons that you can sort of suss that out. So basically what I found this app really did to help me was that it, it contextualized the time of day that I was working at a computer. I don't know if you, if you guys ever find yourself just working away at a computer and before you know it, it's pretty much the middle of the night and you've just been working away not watching the clock. And I find that Redshift is has a, is, it does a very good job at contextualizing the time of day. So you do kind of feel like it's it's the evening um, when it is the evening, um, because the the colouring of your screen sort of reflects the, the the colours that your 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 eyes expect at that that time of day. It's open source, and I will put a link to. Uh, where you can get it from in the description below and the source code and all that, but it's most likely available in your distributions repositories. It's been around for quite some time. I am amazed that it took me as long as I did to install it. But yeah, that's why I used to have a strong preference for dark themes is because it just simply reduced the amount of light that the, the monitor was, was, uh, was throwing at me. Um, I still like dark themes because I think they look really, really nice, but it's taken less of the importance of them away from me. So if you're working on a desktop with a dark theme and there is like a window um, shining some, you know, shining sunlight on it, it can often be worse than a, than a light desktop theme when it comes to trying to, 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 to read the text on your monitor. But anyway, that is... Um, something for you guys to work out. Uh, so that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. But if you haven't already, I do strongly recommend you check out Redshift. If you have a Windows partition or are a Windows user, there is a Windows equivalent. It's called f.lux. And I will, of course, link to that down in the description as well. I've not tried it myself, but my mate Rodders has uh, on his Windows machine, and he says it works just fine. So thank you very much for watching. That's about it from me today. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.